Hello everyone, today is April the 6th, um, currently about 55 degrees I think right now. Um, down here in Western Maryland, we just had a big rainstorm last night, uh, which we needed because it has been rather cold and snowy uh, since my last video. Uh, that's why it took me so long to get a new video out. But all that rain last night basically um, melted all the snow that was on the ground, uh, except for a little bit still up in the mountains. Um, and I'm hoping, since everything is basically flooded right now, that we should be able to find a good bit of herps today. Um, but I will keep exploring a little bit. I'm just hiking today on a canal right now. But I'm going to keep on exploring today, hopefully find some herps, and I'll just let you guys know when I find the first herp. Well, it's been a quite a slow morning today. It's been about an hour and 45 minutes from that first intro clip. And I was finally able to flip the first herp of the day. This is a spotted salamander, if I can pull him out. There he is. Spotted salamander that I just flipped underneath this log. Pretty cool, finally glad I was able to flip the first herp of the day. Like I said, it's been super slow. Uh, I've seen a few turtles here in spring peepers and chorus frogs. Uh, I just haven't been able to get hands on anything yet. But that's a really nice looking spotted salamander. Probably gonna just take a little quick documentation shot and roll his log over and put him back underneath. And I'm gonna keep on flipping today and I'm hoping that things pick up a little bit. Next herp of the day is just this Eastern Newt uh, in the adult stage. But I already took a quick photo of him. And these guys are pretty common, so I'm just gonna let him go. I'm gonna start walking through this nice swampy habitat, see if I can catch any frogs, maybe some turtles. Uh, but I'll let you guys know when I catch the next herp. Literally just released that Eastern Newt, looked up, and it's really pretty eastern painted turtle was coming up for air really cool i love catching these guys wow look at that red on the bottom really cool well i'm gonna take a photo of this guy real quick and then i'm just gonna let him go and i'm gonna keep on herping hopefully we catch some more turtles in here hopefully some more species but finally things are starting to pick up today all right, so the next herp of the day is a much bigger eastern painted turtle. And he has an awesome looking pattern on his plaster. And really cool looking. Um, so I'm going to... Ooh, I almost dropped you, buddy. Uh, I'm going to take a photo of that just because how interesting that looks. Usually painted turtles around here just have a plain looking belly. Just that yellow. But take a photo of him and then I'm just going to release him back into the canal where I caught him. And we're going to keep hiking along here and see what else we can find today. All right, so I just got done taking photos of this guy, or probably girl. So I'm just going to let her go right here. Ploop. <laughs> there she goes. Not so graceful. Next herp of the day is just another eastern painted turtle. This guy has a normal pattern just plain belly but i already took a photo of this guy so i'm just going to release him right back where i caught him all right guys so i just made it home i uh, didn't see anything of interest after that last clip of the painted turtle um so what i'm gonna do is add right behind this clip uh some videos from earlier in the week uh that i was able to get out I found some red salamanders and some spring salamanders. Um, so those videos will be right after this. Things might be a little bit out of order in a way, uh, just because I was planning to put those in a separate video, uh, but I definitely didn't get enough content today. So I hope you guys enjoyed the next few clips and thank you guys for watching. All right, guys, so here is the first herp of the night. This is a gigantic northern 
spring salamander uh, that I just flipped underneath the rock. Uh, there's actually one more right down there sticking his head out. Um, I don't don't think we're going to be able to get that guy because he's probably going to sloop down into a hole before I can grab him. But very good way to start off the night. Um, we're going to keep on herping tonight looking for salamanders primarily. And I'll let you guys know if you find anything else. So the next herp of the night is this little male wood frog. Just hanging out in the ditch. Um, already seen a good many of the wood frog eggs and not many wood frogs out tonight. None of them are even calling. So I have to say that their breeding season is probably coming to an end here. I think most of the females have come and gone uh, in a lot of their vernal pools. But I'm gonna let this guy go. I'm gonna keep walking a road. Uh, we're hoping for some frogs and salamanders to be crossing the road tonight since it's pretty wet. But I'll keep you guys updated if we find anything else. All right, so the next herp of the night is this absolutely gorgeous female wood frog. Maybe you guys can tell she's a little bit chunky in the belly, so she definitely still has to lay her eggs. So I'm going to help her across the road in the way that she was heading. And we're going to keep on road cruising tonight. Uh, probably, as you can tell in the background, it's pretty windy. It's not really rainy, which is not the best herping weather. But I'm gonna let her go, and we're gonna keep on going tonight for a little bit longer, and hopefully we can find something else. So the next herp of the night is gonna be this absolutely stunning spring peeper. This guy has a really nice pattern on him. Some of the spring peepers around here are not really this boldy pattern. Uh, but you can tell, for those who don't know, for spring peeper identification, they have that nice X on the back. And this is about as big as they get. Uh, so they're a really relatively small species. But I'm gonna let this guy go on his way and we're gonna keep on herping. So we're down here shining the edges of this creek and found the next herp of the night. Here are some red spotted newts uh, in habitat. There's two of them here. But these guys, ooh, they are actually attached. So they might be trying to breed right now. So I'm actually gonna leave these two alone. But pretty cool new species for the night. Uh, these guys are extremely common in this county that I'm herping in. So I'm just gonna let them do their thing and we're gonna keep on herping tonight and see what else we find. All right, so next species of the night is this big gravid female spotted salamander. She was just skirting her way across the road, uh, so I'm going to take a quick photo of her and I'm going to help her to the other side and we're going to keep on road cruising tonight. Alright guys, so the next herp of the night are these two male spotted salamanders. These guys were just crossing the road, uh, assuming heading toward their vernal pools for the evening. Uh, so it's really cool that these species are finally on the move up here in the mountains of Maryland. But I'm going to help these guys to the other side of the road, and we're going to keep on road cruising tonight and see what other species are moving. So here is the next herp of the night. This is a big female spotted salamander crossing the road just a little ways down from where those males just were. But I'm going to just help her to the other side, and hopefully she doesn't crawl off my hand. And we're gonna keep road cruising, probably gonna start heading our way home. Um, doesn't seem to be a ton of species out tonight. I'll try to make sure she doesn't fall off my arm. Um, but let me just put her down. So we're just gonna keep on road cruising a little bit on our way home. Hopefully find another species, but it's just really cool to finally see these guys uh, up in my home county today finally they started moving uh definitely we are probably a couple weeks late uh for the usual time of year when these guys start moving but really satisfied with these guys but we're gonna keep on herping and see if we find anything else so next species of the night on the crawl is this little eastern redback salamander uh this is the first salamander that we've been seeing actually in habitat uh walking around 
uh, which these guys are usually the earliest species to come out um, out of the small salamander species in the county. So it seems like most of the species aren't out, quite out yet this year, which kind of makes sense since the temperatures haven't been that great. But nice to see this guy out and about tonight. Um, gonna keep on herping a little bit. We're shining around right now, just seeing if anything's in the woods. And I'll let you guys know if you find anything else. Next herp is just this uh, much smaller Eastern Redback Salamander that I just flipped underneath this rock. Pretty cool, this is just a few feet away from that last Redback Salamander. So I'm just gonna take him out from his rock, put his rock back down and let him crawl underneath of it. All right, everybody. It's currently raining right now, so I decided to go out for a little bit of road cruising. And I already got the first herp of the night, which is my first northern red salamander, if my phone would focus. There we go. First northern red salamander of the year for myself. This one's pretty. Um, not as vibrant as some of the red salamanders I see around here. This one's rather dark. But very good first find of the night. Really cool. I really love these guys, and I usually only see them uh, in the springtime, usually around when the spotted salamanders start moving. But really cool. I'm just going to make sure he gets off the road. Uh, probably going to snag a couple photos just because I haven't seen, I don't see these guys very often. Uh, and then I'm going to keep on cruising and hopefully find some more herps. All right, I just got done showing you that clip of the uh, bigger red salamander. And I look right next to him, and this is a much smaller and more vibrant northern red salamander. And this is an awesome comparison of like the different colorations that these species can have. Obviously, the adults usually get more dull, like this one is currently crawling away in the wrong direction. Uh, and the younger ones usually are this more orangish color, more vibrant. But that is so cool. So I'm gonna snag a couple photos of this smaller one and I'm gonna get this guy going in the direction that he was heading originally. Uh, and then move him off the road and we're gonna keep on cruising tonight. So here is our next northern red salamander of the night. Swimming around, I might actually grab him. Or not, oh there he goes. I'm just gonna let him go, I'm not gonna chase after him. But I still have these two little ones. Still haven't got them off the road yet because I just keep finding salamanders as I'm doing things out here. So that's really cool. Glad things are moving tonight. Still got to photograph these two. All right, so next herp of the night is my first four-toed salamander of the year. These guys are pretty awesome. I really only see them in the spring as well. But if I can pick this guy up, it's kind of small. You flip them on their belly, they have this awesome pure white belly with this black speckling on it. Really cool salamanders. And uh, actually there's a, uh, there's a second one right here. That's cool. There's probably more on this red, so I'm sure this will not be the last two of the night. But I'm just going to grab both of these guys. Easier said than done without trying to hurt them. Come here. All right, I'm gonna just do one at a time, but I'm gonna get both of these guys off the road and we're gonna keep on cruising. So just found another four toed right up the road with a second one. And then right up there, there's another salamander. Oh, that's a beefy looking four toed. That's a big one. That's probably a big, pregnant female that's really cool so there is a it's a lot crossing on this gravel road tonight i see there's another one right there so there's four right in a row and there's oh wow there's another one it'll focus and then there is another one. So they are they are on the move tonight, which is awesome. 
So I'm gonna backtrack, get all these guys off the road and we're gonna keep on cruising and hopefully find some more species. So the next turp of the night is this Northern Dusky. And as you can tell on the back half of her belly, looking pretty yellow. And she's a rather plump individual. So I would have to say this is definitely a pregnant female, uh, which is really cool. Um, so I'm just gonna help this girl off the road uh, so no cars run over her. And we're gonna keep on cruising. Uh, a lot of, a lot of four toads I've been catching out here um, since my last clip. Next turp is a northern spring peeper. This one's pretty. Uh, it's got a nice X on its on its back, which is the uh, diagnostic feature for identifying these guys. So pretty cool. I've uh, been hearing a lot tonight, but this is the first one I've actually seen. So I'm just gonna help it off the road, and we're gonna keep on herping.